welcome to the Den of Tools. Howdy hell guys and gals, it's Red, your friendly neighborhood tool bear, back again here in the Den of Tools, and we got some new items from Harbor Freight for you. Yeah, a mailer for this came out just the other day. We got the Bauer 20 volt lithium ion cordless string trimmer. Now, this has been promised for a long, long time, but we're finally seeing it. It should be hitting stores in any day now, maybe even in some stores. So the uh, the tool only price on this is going to be $39.99. Again, that's tool only. Now, I know some people commented the other day saying that, uh, you know, if you have to add a battery and a charger, everything. But just remember, you don't buy into a trimmer like this unless you're already into the system, unless you're already in the Bauer platform. Nobody ever buys into any of the tool-based accessories unless you're already invested in that platform. But if you are, this is a great deal at $40 to add some more versatility to the Bauer batteries that you have, the charger and whatnot. And remember, the bigger Bauer batteries and <laughs> bigger Bauer batteries are coming down the road. We're expecting to see them later this year. I'm looking forward to it. We're going to get some really nice, decent-sized batteries at this point. So if you do have a bigger yard or something like that, but you know the three amp hour batteries should be enough for trimming most yards. Now, we got more. Don't stop there. Oh, we got so much more from Harbor Freight. They dropped a huge ton of new releases on us today. Hey, but before we jump in it, I just want to ask, have you chomped the like button? Have you? It, it's delicious. It's nutritious, just like mom used to make. You know, and the algorithm here, you know, I hate to say it, but the algorithm really wants you to do it. So if you do have a second and you find value in what we're giving you here, chomp the like button. Hey, maybe even consider hitting that old subscribe button. Anyway, on with the show. Okay, and as we talked about here, we can see it on the website, the Bauer Stringless Trimmer there. Normally a $50 price. There's already a coupon on it for $39.99. I'll have a link to the coupon down below. Next up, we got another Bauer item, 20 volt PSI Max Performance Electric Pressure Washer. Now this is gonna be plug-in, this is not gonna be cordless, not at, at 2000 PSI. But you know, it's interesting to see them upping their game when it comes to electric pressure washers. I'm pretty excited about seeing this. You know, I, I thought the ones that they have before have been fairly decent for a home DIYer. This one, this one's gonna do a bit more than that, hopefully. But we'll have to take a wait and see on that. Now, we got some more Bauer stuff. We got a Bauer 12 foot, 16 foot, 25 foot, and 30 foot tape measures. Now, uh, we've talked about these before, and they do look a lot like other brands that we've seen out there, and it probably is the case that they're just rebranded. If that's the case, the, uh, the it's a pretty decent tape measure. Everything I've seen from them so far has been pretty good. I like them. When you get a sale price on them, now we're not seeing sale prices on these right now, but when you do get a sale price on these, they, they usually have been pretty good. Now, let's get into the real lawn and garden stuff because we talked about before and now we can see pricing on Atlas. We got Atlas 80 volt, 21 inch, self-propelled lawnmower, tool only. Now, yeah, tool only for $319.99. Now, an 80 volt mower, that's going to be quite a beast there. And we're going to talk about the batteries and stuff here in just a little bit. If you want to save a few bucks, you don't mind putting in a little bit more work. We have the non-self-propelled push version for 250, which for an 80 volt mower is pretty nice. But my thought is, if you need an 80 volt mower, if you really need something with that kind of kind of horsepower behind it, you've probably got a yard big enough where you're gonna want the push mower. I don't know. Why don't you let me know down below? What are your comments? Do you think you'd probably go with the push mower or or with the cordless mower? I'm expecting also we're gonna see coupons on these real soon as soon as they're really populated throughout all the stores that's probably when we're going to see it now more in the 80 volt line we've got the 80 volt chainsaw brushless chainsaw mind you so this is this is the biggest offering in the electric that we've had yet from harbor freight now they've also got this in the 40 volt system for 120 dollars now here's where things get interesting because harbor freight has had chainsaws for a while both powered or both gas powered and electric and let's take a look at them we got the portland which is the corded one now remember there was a huge recall million uh, or plus recall because they had a, a bad power switch uh, on, on it which is you know they've taken care of that we've moved on then we saw last year we saw the bauer chainsaw and i did a full demo on that i thought again like i said for most of these accessories when you when it comes to accessories for a power tool uh the, where the power tool is the primary use for it 
for the battery system that they're decent. They're, they're average DIY or home use kind of stuff. They've got the Pool and Pro gas powered one, but they've also had the Lynx 40 volt. Now I've gotten my paws on something similar, uh, but we're going to talk about that later. So that's going to be a no whole nother conversation here, but we can see down below there, the 80 volts 189. That's the same list price as the Lynx and the 40 volt version from Atlas is 120. That's cheaper than the Lynx coupon price. I don't understand how Harbor Freight's going to be able to do two 40 volt systems with at this kind of price range. But we're going to talk more about that later because we got more Atlas stuff to talk about. We got the string trimmer. How about this? This is a nice setup. I like this where they put the battery all the way at the back. You got the nice paddle switches. It really helps the balancing on on these items. Uh $120 is not a bad price for an 80 volt string trimmer. Now, again, this is tool only. Obviously, it looks like they're going to be doing this as a la carte, kind of like they do with the Hercules. So we're going to see batteries. You have to mix match your batteries. Maybe they'll be offering some combo kits as spring gets a little closer for the rest of the country. Now, 40 volt. They've got a 40 volt system also for $80. Now, this is going to be a 15 inch string trimmer, tool only. Same kind of setup, just a little bit less power. Let's take a look at the string trimmers that Harbor Freight's currently offering. We just saw the 20 volt uh, for Bauer at $40. Then we've got the Portland, which is the corded version for $30. And the Lynx 40 volt is $145. Now, here's what you got to remember, and I kind of left out before, and it was kind of kind of uh, misleading, is that the Lynx, when you buy the Lynx, it comes with a battery, it comes with a charger. That's where the difference really is going to come in. So... Now we got to figure out how much is the Atlas going to cost once you add the battery, once you add the charger. But again, we're going to take a look at that. But the other thing is, man, are they going to be able to really carry this many lines? Let's go back. We got blowers, 80 volt brushless blower tool only for 120. And then we've got the 40 volt blower for $80. That said, they've got a bunch of blowers going on right now at Harbor Freight. So we've got the Hercules. That that's a job site blower. It's for it, it's small. It's not the same kind of category. But we've got the Bauer jet fan blower at sixty dollars. Again, that's tool only. We got the cordless or sorry corded Portland three in one where it it's a blower vacuum mulcher. Then we've got the Lynx. That's the one that's that's competitive. It's in the same class. It's one fifty five. But again, it has the forty volt battery and it has the charger with it. The 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 Atlas 40 volt is $80, no battery, no charger. The 80 volt is 120. I can't wait to see what the coupon prices are going to be like on this. Now, 40 volt lithium ion hedge trimmer here. Now, I did not see a 80 volt version of the hedge trimmer. Honestly, I don't know if anyone needs an 80 volt hedge trimmer. Maybe they do. I think you call that a chainsaw at that point. But the fact of the matter is, we've got the hedge trimmer here. We've got the, uh, it's got a, it looks like it has a pivoting head on it. So you can, you can change the angle of your attack there. That's kind of cool. But $79.99. Now let's take a look here and see what else Harbor Freight has. We've got the Corded Portland for $40. bucks. we got the Bauer, which I demoed last year, for $50. Again, uh, that's tool only. We, and that's without a coupon. They've had coupons on these. The Lynx is 140 with battery and charger. The Atlas is $80, no battery, no charger. Oh, where is this going to end up? Now, we also have a pole saw, which a lot of us have been dying to see in the Bauer line and some of the other stuff. $99, no coupons yet. 40 volt, 10 inch pole saw. Uh, says they say it's going to cut 120 cuts per charge. I don't know how they rate that. <laughs> you don't know what you're cutting. But the fact of the matter is, it's always good to have a pole saw. And Harbor Freight has a few. We've got the Portland, which is corded, the Lynx cordless. Now we have the Atlas. The Lynx is 180 with battery and charging. We can see the battery is a $60 value. The charger is probably what? I don't know. It's another $40 or something. So what is going to be the price on these? Well, we're going to get to that in just a minute. I know I keep going on. There we go. 40 volt, 80 volt dual charger. It looks a lot like the Hercules. It's $60 without coupon. Now, 
Then they have the standard charger. So the other one looks like it's a, oh, I missed that. It's a rapid charger. That's cool. The standard charger is going to be only $30. And this is going to do both. This is the 40 and the 80. Now the batteries, the 40 volt battery is going to be, oh, what is it? A 2.5 for $59.99. And the 80 volt battery is going to be 109. Well, that's, you know, when you start talking about those bigger, ba bigger batteries like that, that's going to be expected. But let's go back and let's talk about that Atlas 40 volt battery. Now the bear is going to do some math. So Bear with me while I do this. If we look at that that battery at $60 plus $30 for the basic charger, because I don't think the Lynx charger is a rapid charger. You're looking at $90. Now, if we go back here and we look at this pole saw, if you add $90 to this, you're at $190. That's not... You know, now that's no coupon, but this is without a coupon either. Now, if we go back to the the hedge trimmer and tack on ninety dollars to that, that's going to put it at a hefty margin above this one. And if we go back to the blowers and add ninety dollars to this one, well, you're at one seventy, and you're going to be you know distinctly higher than the links. So they're not exactly apples and apples. Now, if you're already in the system, if you're already in, the, once you've bought into that Atlas system and you're doing other things, that's going to be kind of a benefit because here's the thing with the links. There's no tool only option. Every time you buy one, you get a battery, you get a charger. There's no opting out of that. All right. So enough about that. The bears hop, harped on that enough. Let's go to some other stuff, huh? How about new Pittsburgh six ton steel jack stands for $50? three tons for 25 this is part of the new series two it's got the same coloring my understanding is series two is it's it's an iterative upgrade it's a lot of stuff they've already been phasing in they've already been doing uh differently uh incrementally over previous ones and they're just basically codifying it and and calling it the series two at this at this point because it's changed so much and they're trying to identify it by, by its own color based on all the other colors you get with the daytona series and whatnot then we got Badlands. This is the, our, our electric winches. We got the 2,500 pound for 89, basically $90, 3,500 pound for $180, and the 5,000 pound. Now these again, these are these are considered light duty UTV. Uh, you can use them for loading. You can put them on a trailer, that kind of stuff, for $220 there. Now we also have the new Doyle 12 inch uh, adjustable wrench, a crescent wrench for $17 and the the 10 inch there for $13 again no coupons on these right now and I don't know I've been kind of iffy about crescent wrenches those of you who use them a bunch what do you think about this do you think that this is going to make you decide to jump into the Doyle line now let's go back to lawn and garden so if we we're talking about this before and let me see if I can pull it up real quick not the head trimmer, the blower. Let's look at the blowers here. We were looking at, here we go, the Lynx cordless blower. Let me pull it up here so you can see it. Get a good look at that. That right there, that's what's been the, the 40 volt option for Harbor Freight for the longest time. But recently this company sent me a whole line of their 40 volt cordless tools. I had no idea what they were before they sent them. I get them, I unbox them, and I'm like, wow, those look surprisingly similar. They are nearly identical. Uh, the same casings, the same molding, same battery platforms, uh, the same chargers. Now, I did open them up, and I can tell you that there are some incremental minor differences between them. The batteries are slightly different. The motor, motor housings are slightly different. There are some changes besides the color of the plastic. On top of that, uh, though, the, it, they're obviously not major changes because I was able to take a Lathelli battery plug it into a Lynx tool and make it work. But there are some issues with using those batteries with that, with the Lynx stuff, but it's an easy enough hack to get around it. Uh, but I'm gonna do a whole separate video on just that. Well, there you go. There you have it. That's the new items from Harbor Freight. As I said, they release a ton of stuff. Now, what's going to happen with the Atlas versus the Lynx line? I don't know. It's anyone's guess at this point. They're not really whispering to me these days. Most of my sources have gone radio silent right now. I don't know if the coronavirus has got them or what, but 
The fact of the matter is that uh, we're going to have to wait and see how this plays out. Hey, if you got a second, why don't you head over to Den of Gadgets, check out all of our tech reviews kind of stuff. We have a new one every Saturday. We also have Geek Health, where we talk about our, uh, it's more of a diet blog kind of thing. The missus and I are trying to get in shape, and we're doing keto. I'm also doing a one meal a day thing. It's, uh, it's interesting. It's kind of hacking the health code, if you will. And uh, also don't forget to stop by and check us out every Sunday for Tool Talk Live with Jeff and the Mrs. and the Labradog and the Cubs and, you know, Joe and the Dancing Moderators. We're all there. The gang's all there. Come on by. It's a good old time. Hang out with us for a while on a Sunday evening, 6 p.m. Pacific. Hope to see you there. Anyway, hey, did you chomp that like button? Remember, the algorithm really wants you to do that. I know. And don't forget, we got magnets and stickers now in the merch store, including the Shut Up Moto ones you guys have been asking for. Anyway, that's all the bear has for you today. You all take care. God bless. And as always, shine on.